When I was Andy, I was pretty unhealthy. I can't believe that I would eat five cheeseburgers for lunch. I lived in like a constant state of, oh God, I'm freaking sick of eating so much. Chris Pratt had one of the biggest Hollywood transformations of all time. Chris Pratt used to look like this and then got absolutely ripped and shredded to play a Navy SEAL in Zero Dark Thirty, which is an awesome movie, by the way, with just push-ups and running. He went in with the push-ups and running. We got this deal where any of us can say it's time to do 50 push-ups. The guys who do this are so fit. They go through incredibly grueling physical and mental torture in order to become a SEAL. He killed it with the push-up. 500 push-ups a day. I told you, from Hollywood movie stars to armed forces, all the best people use push-ups. But what's amazing is you, yourself, had to get in sick shape. I don't know if you can tell from the angle right now, but I'm <laughs> kind of like a fat ass. <laughs> uh, I have a little uh, extra belly going on. So after Zero Dark Thirty, he stopped doing push-ups and took bit of a diet break. An extended cheat day, if you will. But I've always been a little soft. I like to eat and yeah, I don't sure. like to, I'm not, crunches I'm not gonna do, but I had a deadline to play a SEAL Team 6 member, so I got, you know, I had about uh, five or six months and I just really busted my ass to get in good shape. And then after I wrapped the movie, almost immediately I gained uh, like 60 pounds to play <laughs> a role. Kind of despondent, emasculated character that was like fat and, and, and unhappy. But then Marvel called. Do you want to be a superhero? Yes. You want to be rich and famous? Yes. So we better get that six pack. And of course, have Duffy Gaver, celebrity Hollywood trainer on speed dial. When I started training Chris for Guardians of the Galaxy, he had just come off a role where he got particularly out of shape. His transformation on his effort is huge. He's a dedicated guy. I think one of the misconceptions about how celebrities are trained is that it's different than how you would train. The fact is getting in shape has to do with going and busting your ass in the gym. So let's talk the future classic. It already feels like a classic. That is Guardians of the Galaxy. Not only a great movie, killer soundtrack too. And Chris Pratt did eight months of training and lost 60 pounds of fat. And yeah, every superhero has the superhero body reveal scene. I mean, it's essential to the script, right? So let's jump into that Guardians of the Galaxy workout, which is broken down into three parts. The first part was bodybuilding type. So we're talking those classic bodybuilding moves, rows, presses, curls, and flies. The next part was bodybuilding and conditioning. And then the third part, the tricky part, <laughs> the worst part is Chris Pratt was getting ready for that shirts off moment in Guardians of the Galaxy. It was all about cardio circuits, swimming, mountain biking, treadmill and rower circuits mixed in with some weightlifting and calisthenics. We're talking push-ups pull-ups and dips five days a week and he got completely ripped looking like this one of the best hollywood transformations of all time got after it for a good eight months or so maybe five months uh, before we shot and another three months while we were shooting just every day grinding it out you know 100 pull-ups 200 push-ups and 300 air squats and then we're gonna finish it off with uh, another mile. Whether you're getting ripped for a Hollywood movie or you just wanna look great on the beach, 70% of your results comes down to the diet. So let's talk that Guardians of the Galaxy diet where Chris Pratt was having 4,000 calories a day. It was high protein, moderate fat, and lower carb. It looked like this for your protein sources. Whole eggs, chicken breast, fish, and steak. For fats, it was grass-fed butter, coconut oil, avocado, and nuts. And then carb sources, broccoli, spinach and other green vegetables, sweet potatoes, brown rice, oatmeal, and berries. Was it over yeah. is that a, this is how I try to explain it. There are moments of pure joy in life. And before, when I was chubby and living life, I had several of those moments every day. They usually existed around eating something, mm -hmm. and those points through the day were my highlights. And then it would be drinking something, and then the rest of the night it'd be pretty high. And then the valleys between those peaks were pretty low. I didn't feel sharp, I didn't feel good. So now, that scale is just reversed. Mm -hmm. So those valleys, I actually feel really good, but it's the moments that I'm eating that I'm like, eh. When talking about getting in shape, Chris Pratt said, I actually lost weight by eating more food, but eating the right food, eating healthy foods. And so when I was done with the movie, my body hadn't been in starvation mode. Eating properly and, and truly feeding yourself, not starving yourself, but giving yourself proper nutrition to heal. You have to burn off all the crap you've put in your body, and then you have to replace it with really good 
food and fuel. The first transformation of my body to become Star-Lord was the hardest because I had the, the furthest to go. I was about two, almost 300 pounds and never really thought that I would ever be considered a candidate to play one of these sort of action hero kind of roles. It sucks at first, but soon you kind of realize that you feel better emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually. So that requires some sacrifice. I did something called intermittent fasting and I ate from like noon to about 6 p.m. That was my window to eat. There was a lot of chicken breasts. There was a lot of lean protein, a lot of vegetables. I might have like corn tortillas with some eggs, a lot of avocado, good, clean, healthy fats, tons of coffee. If you cut the crap out of your diet and spend an hour a day doing something physical, you'll feel better mentally, physically, and spiritually because it's all tied together. Periodically, you gotta treat yourself with a cheat meal, ice cream, and cookies, cake, pie. I'd do about seven days worth of damage and I'd take about seven days to pay that off. And it's not about starving yourself because you want to give your body the proper nutrition. You know, Chris Pratt said that anyone can get in shape, but you know, being an actor kind of helps, right? I guess having a multi-million pound contract is pretty good for the old motivation, Chris. I haven't always been fat, but like, but I've been fat for a lot of the, like probably the last eight years or something, which is really fun and really great. I love eating food and drinking beer and having fun with my life. But I, I was also kind of depressed a little bit when I was fat. And like, I think there's probably people out there who can agree and understand what that feels like. And, and I'll tell them, hey, if you just like bust, bust your ass and, and get after it, all it takes is like six months, really. Six months flies by whether you're working out every day or whether you're not. And so if you feel compelled to try to do something about it, take some action to get in shape, do it. You could, you really could, you can do it in six months and all you have to do is just book a Marvel movie and, and uh, have a deadline. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, if you don't get fat, that you might get fired. Then, 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 then it's easy. Man, he sounds tired. <laughs> Chris Pratt sounds like he needs a rest day. Getting in shape is not as complex as Chris makes out. Transforming yourself is really not hard. It requires consistency and dedication, and you have to be willing to sacrifice the things that you want. You have to trade things that are fun, like alcohol consumption, meals at restaurants, things like that, for long, arduous periods of time, exercise, and physically exhausting and grueling yeah. work. I was capable of doing it. I think anybody could do it if they wanted to, but uh, unless you had to, I don't see why you yeah. want to. Your fans are saying Chris Pratt eats no fat. Is that true? No, I eat, I eat plenty of fat. I eat plenty of fat. Yes. Chris Pratt eats no sugar. That uh, is more true. You see, Chris says there isn't a secret to getting in shape. I disagree, Chris. It took a long time. It took, there wasn't any trick to it or any secret to it. It's just a matter of getting after it that's the problem is people want to know what the secret is. The secret is you can't do it in a month. Thank you, I it, like that It though. takes eight months and or a year or a lifetime. Well, Chris, I have the secret. I mean, look, it didn't take me that long. I look like this, 37 inch waist, 50 pounds of fat. I wanted to have the Hollywood movie star physique, but uh, you know, you gotta train eight hours a day, have a gym membership, a personal trainer, a nutritionist, and it would take forever. But you don't, and it doesn't. Listen, subscribe, like, and comment if you think Chris Pratt did a good job in his superhero transformation. And let me know what Hollywood transformation you want to see next. Oh, you want more? More videos? Hey, look, it's real simple. All you got to do is subscribe, comment, and like. We keep the videos coming, and there's a few more on the screen ready to go right now. You better get tapping.